In this video, we're going to be so that. In this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Instead of being mindful of the old tech like we normally are, we're going to be mindful of some new tech because I have a brand new PC to build. A little while ago, Mrs. Mindful's sister wanted to purchase a new PC. This was a year or so ago, and obviously that was utterly impossible at the time. But now all of the world's problems have been solved. We can buy graphics cards again, and that's all that matters. So with that said, we're going to be putting together a PC today. Join me, won't you? Okay, so let's take a look at our components selection. In no particular order, we have one MSI GK30 Gaming Combo. Some cute little speakers. A Ryzen 5 5500. Corsair CX550F RGB power supply. Very important to illuminate your carpet. Next display, open box B550. MSI something or other pro motherboard, I forget what that's called. And of course the piece piece, piece de resistance the RTX 3060. This particular one from Pony PMI. And we have two 27 inch 1440p 144 Hz monitors. So, let's wipe the sweat off my brow, turn on a fan, and get to unboxing. Montage!
Okay, so let's go over uh, part selection and have a little look at how much this all cost and why I put this together as I did. So yes, first off we have our uh, 5500 uh, Ryzen 5. So this obviously is £112.98, um, case of e-buyer, as you can see here. And that's the sole reason I bought it. It's cheap and it's really, really good <laughs> for the price. Good enough for gaming. Enough hyper-threading, enough cores for a little bit of uh, video editing or streaming and that kind of thing. Sticker included, Ryzen 5 500. That's our CPU. Case-wise, you can see we've gone for this aero cool. We'll have a look at that uh, towards the end of the build and we actually get everything up and running and get it ready to go in the case. We also have our Neutron Lab 27-inch uh, 2K, uh, so 1440p. Uh, 144 hertz gaming monitors they are HDR um, but they're going to be more HD aren't um, however for that price 179 pounds absolutely couldn't beat them what was rather silly though is obviously we, we needed two of them eBuyer does not support adding two of the same product to a wish list yeah it'd be great if you could fix that eBuyer next we have the uh, MSI Vigor GK30 so that is just a nice looking good enough quality gaming keyboard and mouse it's not a full mechanical keyboard, but it is mechanical-like. Um, as you saw when I first got it out, some of the keys were at different heights. That's actually a very common thing uh, on a keyboard, so you saw me mushing them all down to make sure that they were all at the same height. So next up we have this NVMe 250GB uh, Kyoxia, Kyoxia, Xeria, Kyoxia, Xeria, uh, 250GB. NVMe SSD. This is going to be our boot drive. As far as I'm aware, Kyoxia are a enterprise manufacturer. They make uh, storage for data centers. I believe they claim they invented SSD. Whether or not they invented NAND flash out, I don't know. But they, they they were definitely there at the beginning, so they certainly know what they're doing. It's not next on the list, but we'll skip to it now. We also have the uh, Xeria, just normal SSD. Uh, this is a terabyte, or 960 gig. So this will give us lots of storage uh, for games and archive stuff and whatever else we need to put on there. Next up, we have this X Display. So this was an open box motherboard, hence why it doesn't have the little cover. But uh, on the socket, but it does have the back plate. Which is good, really good value because it was open box. It was a bit cheaper than it should have been, which means we could get apologies, which means we could get a slightly better motherboard for our money. Um, as you can see there, seventy one sixty two. Uh, we got up next. Ah yes, our Logitech speakers. Um, I haven't bothered opening these yet. Again, we will see what these are like once we get going. Uh, then we've got our Kingston Fury. Now, uh, I generally buy Kingston where I can, uh, especially when it comes to memory and storage. I've always gone really, really well with Kingston RAM. Um, in fact, I have Kingston Fury in my own rig, although this is a slightly newer version of it. Uh, they have changed the fin design and changed the font, which I'm sure will hugely affect the performance. 2666 megahertz. Actually, I thought I'd put 3200 on there, um, but realistically real world performance wise that's not going to really make any difference okay so next up at 50 pounds we have our Corsair cx 550 f that is a 550 watt power supply that's going to be plenty of power for this system that we have here uh, it also has rgb so finally we have the most important component of all the gpu okay Epic XRGB, which is of course the most important thing in computer components, as we all know. Never had a PNY graphics card before, um, as far as I understand it, they're a nice reputable brand. I think the, the GPUs I'd selected went out of stock twice by the time we actually came to order the thing. So this was literally the same price as the other GPUs on there, obviously exactly the same reference design, um, and it came in at... 364.98. I think the original one on a, I had on there was 369. These prices may have changed uh, a little bit either up or down since I last ordered it. Prices are going all over the place at the moment. Only by small amounts though, it's nothing like it was last year. This is actually quite a nice GPU. So the original one I think I had in, uh, I think it was a Palette was the one that was on there before this. Oh, nice actually. 
I guess the RGB must shine through the honeycomb there. Ah, plastic backplate, okay. Yes, we've got this strange little tag thing here. This whole thing glows. It'll be sort of side on in the case like that. I'm not gonna vertically mount it or anything. 12 gigabyte, 3060. But what's great about this is it's 350 pounds as opposed to the sort of eight, 900 pounds. I mean, probably these things were going over a thousand on eBay at one point during the insanity. When I think 350 is about what I paid for my 1060 way, way back. I'm sort of two generations behind now. This should be a pretty capable system. It's obviously sort of entry to mid range. The total price, which is not on here. Cool, no total, great. Great wish list you buy. I think it was about 1200 pounds in total. Um, so that's with everything, that's two monitors, keyboard, mouse, speakers, the person that I'm building this for doesn't have any of that stuff. Um, so, you know, if you've got your monitors and things already, you can very reasonably get a PC for about 600 pounds right now, 600, 800 maybe. But anyway. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to turn the fan on, I mean, I'm going to knuckle down and get this built. I will video it, um, I will do a kind of uh, time-lapse music video, or TMV as I like to call them, um, and we will get this built. Obviously I don't want to be sort of chatting and being distracted because I'm not building this for someone else, so the last thing I want to do is, is mess it up. So yeah, come along for the ride, and let's get this thing built. Of course, before we start, we need our tools. I'm joking, of course. All we're going to need is a screwdriver and maybe some snips. Okay, so, have a look at this thing. Oh, 
static. We have this foot. Another bit of the stand. Little power brick. Then. So, it's a nice metal stand, very solid actually, I have to say the, uh, the quality of this goes beyond the £179 price tag, that's for sure. Oh, what? <laughs> this is a really common problem with this screwdriver, it's just slightly too big for a lot of holes. Not a problem I have in other areas of my life. Let's find another one. Oh. Two HDMI, 1.4, 2.0, and a display port. Three HDMI. Whoa, two 1.4. One 2.0 and a display port. This is mad. We've got the manual. We've got this, which I assume is a. Yeah, that is for cable management. Nice touch. Oh, so hot with that fan off. Well, this is not as elegant as it could be, but you're only ever going to need to do it once, so... Yeah, I'm super impressed by this monitor. Can we see that on the camera? Yeah, we're about to see whether or not this will post. It's the moment of truth. Now, it's these two pins here we need to short. Power supply is on. Is it plugged in? Uh, yes. Okay. Do we have any kind of LED on the motherboard? No. <gasps> the power's on. Does it post? This monitor on. Oh, we have lights. Okay, that is a CPU error. CPU is powered on. Double check all our connections here. Hmm. I'm gonna troubleshoot with the fan on, so be right back. Okay. So, after some extensive troubleshooting, um, you can see I've actually managed to get the machine to boot up. However, you may notice, I didn't even put that arrow there, that is literally pointing exactly to it, uh, that this is not the Ryzen 5 5500 uh, that we purchased for this machine. This is in fact my Ryzen 2700X, which I've had to remove from my machine and put in here because I suspect that the sticker that is on this box saying ready for Ryzen 5000 series, I think that was in fact a lie and that they haven't updated the BIOS for that because this is an old BIOS. Uh, either that or because it was open box, it's possible that uh, uh, someone bought it, flashed it to an old BIOS and then sent it back for whatever reason and then it's been sold on to us. But uh, either way, it's all lies. I have the uh, latest BIOS for this machine. So we will go ahead and pop this in. And then using M Flash, we should be able to install it from that USB. Let's find out. So we're currently on 2.30. 
from uh, 14th of January 2021 and we're moving over to version 2.80 so that's quite considerably newer. So let's do this. Ugh, BIOS. Are you sure to select this file? I am sure to select this file. BIOS is updating. Didn't it? Didn't it? Didn't it? Didn't it? So we'll see if that works with the new CPU. There we go, CPU lights out. Yeah, so just wrong BIOS. So that sticker on the box is a big fat lie. E buyer, more like e liar. There we go, getting getting through the uh, debug lights there. Excellent. Okay. Cool. So we just need to create some Windows installation media and then we're going to have a proper play with this. I'll get in the case first actually.